Hello, welcome to Lush with Laura. I'm Laura and today I'm going to be doing a request which is Serana's hair from Skyrim but it's not going to look as authentic on me because it requires a little parting and also no fringe which is what I have but I'm going to show you the basic technique on how to do this hairstyle so if you want to know how to do it then stick around and I will show you. So first we have to consider the position of the braids. Basically the braids they start at this very high point where your parting is. So I'm going to do the first braid around here and I'm going to be splitting the section to three equal sections and I'm going to be doing French lace braid so that it's not redundant and the same as the Yarl Ellison hairstyle and I'm going to be taking this strand and going over the middle strand taking this other strand and going over the middle strand. I add more hair to the upper strand and go over the middle strand but I do not add more hair to the lower strand but I go over the middle strand anyway and I continue adding more hair only to the top strand and the effect that this will give is that you will see the braids band out in a really obvious way which is similar to what Serana has. So I'm going to be stop adding more hair once I get to a certain point because if you add hair all the way to the back then you're going to find it a bit problematic to position all four braids together in the same um, level. So I'm just going to be braiding down normally. And then you can either choose to secure this temporarily with an elastic band or a clip. I'm going to be using a clip. And make sure that when you gather the hair at the back, the braid is turned this way. So you really get that fanned out, obvious looking braid effect that Serana has. For the second braid, I'm going to be choosing a section that is also close to the root, but, also, but, but below the first braid. So I split this into three equal sections. And I do the exact same thing, which is just braiding over, over the middle strand, but adding hair only to the upper strand. Actually, this is getting in the way, so I'm just going to be securing this completely out of the way, so that it doesn't bother me while I'm braiding over here. And after I've gathered enough hair, in my opinion, this basically, it just depends on, on you, how much hair you want to add. I'm just going to be braiding normally all the way down. But the reason why I choose to do lace French braids is because I want the braid to start very high at the top of the head, because that's what Serana has. This hairstyle will actually look more authentic on someone without a fringe. And then we're going to be doing the exact same thing on this side. So I see I've gr grabbed the hair from around here in order to make it more even. If you want to be super even about this, you can even count how many times you've added hair from the top section, but I didn't do that. Going over. You might want to occasionally bend down just to check the exact orientation of the other braid in order to make it as even as possible. After I've grabbed enough hair, I'm just going to be doing a normal braid. So basically you do the exact same thing four times. And securing it with a clip. Oh. 
Okay, so for y'all, Elisif's hairstyle, basically you have to separate a section out and then you tie everything underneath that section so you have the hair draping over the elastic band and you can choose to do that if you like. However, I'm not sure exactly how Serana's hair is gathered at the back because I haven't played Skyrim in quite a while. I've been quite busy actually. Um, but most of the braided hairstyles I see in Skyrim just are just fastened together with a rope at the back. So I'm going to be using an elastic band in place of that. So I'm going to just carefully let down my sections, being careful not that my braids don't massively unravel. This is why I braid all the way to the end so that they don't really unravel that much. And I make sure that the way they're gathered is that the way they're gathered is um, the direction that you're braiding it in so that you really do get a fanned out effect. See, this is the reason why you shouldn't over add hair because it just makes it messy to deal with at the end, at the top. Just get these two sections in the position, in the direction that you braid it. In the direction that you braid it. And you just tie it all together at the back with an elastic band. Just tug in it to make it tight and you can adjust these unwanted bumps. You can even put bobby pins to, to make them more smooth. But I think that actually looks just fine. So this is the finished look. It's not exactly the same as Serana because, like I said, I have this fringe and it's supposed to be a male parting here where it starts here. So this is basically the best I can do on my hair. This section. If you want to add a more contemporary touch to it, you can even accessorize it with a butterfly clip or a flower at the back. So I hope that this helped you, hope you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and see you later.